it's Justin here and welcome to this video. Today we'll be talking about the whole tone binary amp and that is an amp simulator mounted right on my pedal board on my PT Nano. So this is going to be my pedal board for the dates that I have to play really light or if I can't really handle the weight uh, in my, uh, you know, on my wrists. Let's get one thing out of the way. Let's try not to compare the uh, the Alliance's Helix with something like this because this is obviously going to be a very different kind of product. I'm going to start with something that is negative, which I don't normally do, but I feel that it is my responsibility to give you a real-world review as to how this pedal uh, serves in, uh, in a real-life situation. Now, firstly, it doesn't take overdrive pedals very well. So I have an SL drive, as you saw previously, I have an Exotic Effects SL drive um, on my pedal board, and I use that normally to set up the amp sim to be clean, and then I kick in the SL drive to have overdrive. Now it sounds like this. Not very, very nice, is it? So things start to get a bit better when you let the the binary amp do its own work. So if you were to uh, set up the binary to have a mild overdrive, it would sound like this. But that's not really overdrive, is it? That's like, you know, on the edge of breakout, the kind of tone. When you kick in the overdrive on a Vox AC30 model on this binary amp, it still sounds pretty nasally and pretty brill like this. In fact, the only way I could get a nice overdrive out of the Vox AC30 sound toggling between mildly overdriven to overdrive is to use a clean boost. Now the Hotom Tuner has a 12 dB boost on it, which is pretty handy. I used to use it for like a mild solo boost. Now I put it before the binary and I crank it all the way up to 12 dB boost like this. <laughs> To be honest, I bought the binary amp for the purposes of getting nicer overdrive sounds and a variety of overdrive sounds on my board. You see, I had the Moore Day Tripper for a long time, but it's a one-trick pony. It's a Vox sounding kind of amp sim. So I wanted something that I could have, if I wanted to, I can go like, you know, pedal to the metal and I do the overdrive, the you know, the massive overdrive thing like this. <laughs> Likewise, this doesn't sound very nice with overdrive on it like this. And there you have it. This is how the Hotone Binary Amp will sound like when you integrate it into a pedal board. Would I recommend it? Yes, it's a pretty good pedal. It is something that I would use to have different variety of sounds in a set. For songs that I need heavy distortion, I got it. For songs that I need a clean, jangly, AC30 kind of sound, I also have it. The only thing is, it doesn't take overdrive pedals very well, so you will need to have a clean boost that uh, you may have to put in front of the binary amp in order to get it to sound nice. I hope this pedal review has been helpful and if you have any questions, comments or queries, please post them in the comment box and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, this is Justin signing off.